okay, Jordan and I decided we don't have to tell you it's hot. You already no. know, so we'll move on. The main way energy companies are asking everyone to conserve power is by turning up the temperature on those thermostats. I know you've seen some of the memes. They're mm -hmm. telling people to turn it to 85 <laughs> when they yeah, sleep right. and that sort of thing. So what if someone else does that for you without you knowing? Matt Darty is hearing from folks in Deer Park who say their thermostats are getting changed. When Brandon English got home from work yesterday, the house was hot. She had cranked it down at about 2.30. It takes a long time for this house to get cool once it gets that hot. Earlier in the day, Brandon's wife and their daughters decided to take their afternoon nap. They had been asleep long enough that the house had already got 78 degrees. So they wake up sweating. Without anyone touching it, their thermostat was changed while they were sleeping, making their home unbearably hot. It was my daughter at the point of overheating. You know, she's three months old. They dehydrate very quickly and you know, we're very careful when we go out places, let alone her covered up in the bed, just getting hot. Soon after that, his wife got an alert on her phone. The thermostat had been changed remotely, raising the temperature during a three hour energy saving event. The family smart thermostat was installed a few years ago as part of a new home security package. Many smart thermostats can be enrolled in a program called Smart Savers Texas. It's operated by a company called Energy Hub. The agreement states that in exchange for entry into a sweepstakes, electric customers allow for the company to access their thermostats during periods of high energy demand. Their list of its clients include TXU Energy, Centerpoint, and ERCOT. Brandon says he unenrolled their thermostat as soon as he found out. Because um, you never would have done it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want anybody else controlling my things right. for me. A scroll through a Houston Reddit board shows Brandon's not alone. Several others say they found out during this week's heat wave that their thermostats were being accessed remotely as well. Brandon says although it's been convenient, it's just not worth it. Well, if somebody else can, can manipulate this, I'm not, I'm not for it. In Deer Park, I'm Matt Doherty.